Alrighty, everybody, we're back for another day to make some more difficult choices. I can't promise you today I'm going to make good ones, but I promise you I'll try to, okay? Uh, honestly, to keep it real with y'all, all the ways I've reacted to this game so far, and how, how I'd probably react in real life, uh, it's it's been a roller coaster. But welcome back to another day in Detroit, bro, and uh, welcome to episode 8. Um, before we get into today's video, I do want to take a moment to talk to you guys, like kind of heart to heart a little bit. Um, obviously, these playthroughs have been a major success in my mind, and the support you guys show. To proceed to a test of your controller. The amount of support you guys show on this playthrough series has uh, honestly. Is the amount of support you guys shown on these playthroughs has really kind of like warmed my heart and uh, I don't think you guys quite understand just how much I really do appreciate it alongside all these playthroughs which we've been posting playthrough episodes every single day and it's the new direction I honestly plan to continue with this channel for as long as I mean I do YouTube um, we've been also diversifying the multiplayer content we've been doing with these playthroughs on the daily and um Honestly, I know it's been a lot of change. I really do appreciate all of y'all who've been riding with me throughout this entire process. Because trust me, it's played a toll on my emotions behind the scenes. Um, but it's what I enjoy doing. It's what I feel I'm happiest doing. I feel like I'm at my best. And, uh, you know, doing the same thing every day, I wasn't happy with the content I was producing. So as long as I'm happy, I hope you guys are happy. And uh, if I'm enjoying myself, I'm a firm believer that you guys are enjoying yourself. So thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything you have done for me on this channel and uh, what you're allowing me to do as we proceed into the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, bro. Let's freaking do this. Ooh, so in the last episode, bro, with Marcus, we, you know, we broadcasted our big message. We also uh, were in a carnival site with Alice and Kara and we, you know, we met all the Jerry's and she went on the merry-go-round. And then with Connor, Connor literally... I mean, as of the last time we checked, he lost his life right now. So I don't know if he's even still alive. I have a feeling we're with Kara right now. Maybe she found a home. I'm hoping she found a house. And this is not looking like Canada because it's not always snowing here, okay? <laughs> Let's do this, man. I'm ready. Alice is trusted. I am so glad. And Luther's neutral. I don't know how I feel about Luther yet. I, I mean, to be honest, he's, I'm still a little on the fence with him. I, I don't know if I could trust him yet. Alice, I feel like we've built a pretty good relationship with over the course of this playthrough. So we found a house. Um, I don't know where we at, bro. I mean, we were probably just... Is this our car? Did we get it up and running? Okay, we got someone here. Looking for a wee bit of help. Hello. I'm going to scare the hell out of him. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Damn, cold. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Inside like the last guy? We're going to hope this girl ain't here to screw me up. He doesn't seem too fond of androids, to be honest. What's his deal, man? Okay. I think we can trust him. Trust? I'm going to trust. You don't have a choice. Let's get inside, baby. Is there anything else we can investigate? No, we just gotta go straight indoors. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the last people, uh, that last, the last dude was Come creepy on. though. These people don't give me creepy vibes. The guy I don't trust though. He seems a little fishy. What's your name? Alice. She's sick. A fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, Aww. will you show them upstairs? I feel like when we get upstairs, Adam's going to have something to say to us. I'm telling you, bro, you don't look like a happy camp. Who is this lady and where are we, to be honest? We, we kind of seem like we're in the middle of nowhere. 
And we also lost uh, our car. So, I mean, unless we walked here. All right. Got a sweet, sweet little room. It actually looks kind of cozy, not going to lie. We got the bed. That's it. I think we just got... Honestly, we just, she just got to go to bed, bro. This chick been up for 74 hours. Followed Adam upstairs, put Alice to bed. Do I have to go around here? I think... No, I can't even go over there. Okay, she sat on the bed. Let me go interact with Alice. kind of crazy how Alice's life is turning out. Undress, Alice. I ain't trying to get in trouble, bro. <laughs> this is YouTube, bro. You never know what goes down. Okay, we're going to tuck her in. This girl had her pajamas on under her clothes the entire time. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Reassure? I'm gonna reassure. Need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Misunder they're just misunderstanding. misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Sincere, optimistic. I'll be sincere. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I Ooh. made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Oh, you'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank that you. looks so good. It's 11:41 p.m. I'll right here. Washed and dried. And I haven't eaten dinner. That spaghetti looks so good. Kiss goodnight, leave. Suggest I'm gonna suggest eating. She needs food. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. I'll eat her spaghetti. Watch Luther. Luther's just gonna chomp on that spaghetti, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, there's a window here. What are we gonna do? We'll close the blinds. Car's quest line is so heartwarming, man. I just love it. It's the music, everything about it. We're gonna go downstairs and talk to Rose now. Maybe she could help us get to the Canadian border and find a way to safety. We're gonna come back upstairs, bro. And it's gonna be like Luther ate Alice. You're so hungry. <laughs> okay. Now where? Okay, it's just her. Where did? Where's oh there he is. I didn't get your name. He doesn't like me, bro. I'm Kara. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Sit. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Sincere? I'm gonna be sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Many deviants, why help? I'm going to ask why her why is she helping. helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Rose, thanks. Many deviants. I'll ask about others. Not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Oh boy. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. No choice. We can't no choice. Like this. 
Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Damn, I hope we don't screw Please. her over. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Whoa. Who the hell is this lady? Oh, no, bro. What's going down? Check what's going on. What happened, bro? What the heck happened? Is this the basement? No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? It's Mary. There's a lot of people here. It says she shut. This who knew there was this many androids in here? What the hell? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? That android's crying, bro. Aw. What happened to her? She just shut down? Just let them be. Hold up. Look, look. RA, it said RA9. RA9 on the walls there. They drew RA9 will save us. What is that? Alice. Even they read it. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Oh, no. She's going to see death. Stay. Take Alice. Up. I'm going to take her outside. Okay. Poor girl, man. She's going through it all. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. All right. To be kind of real. Not after what those deviants did today. <clears throat> It's too dangerous. So he's not a fan. He's not a fan of if the police find her helping. Here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison. Adam. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no. I won't back down this time. You're going to ruin our lives. And for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines. They are alive. I'm alive. You're alive. They... They're nothing. And none of this would be happening if dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Damn. Damn. Don't Damn. Him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Woo! <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight. Tonight? Damn. Some overwhelming emotions right there. I won't be long. Holy. It's just weird because, like, they created us, so, like, we literally have emotions though, but it's just we I don't know, man. I mean, I could see where he's coming from. Like if androids are new to like your life, it's like they're literally robots. So like, but that but we're not kind of like we have literal we can emulate literal human emotions. And I mean, the only thing that matters is that you can feel and once you can feel you can feel like if you can feel pain, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, just shut them down. Like they won't know any. You can just shut humans down, kill human beings. They don't know any better, but it's just a matter of fact that once they can actually feel, that's when you have to care for them. You know what I mean? Like, it, this is, you're just going to hurt them if you don't help them. So, feel, feelings all that matter. It doesn't matter what you're made of. You're, well, you're just made of skin and flesh. They could say the same thing. You know what I mean? If they were in this world first. Okay, so we got to... What, what do we got to do here? We got to wait for Rose. We got to look around here. Let's go in the room here. I kind of want to go take another look at what happened. How did she die? Dallas going pee. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Can we have a talk with this guy here? Are we allowed? No, we're not allowed to talk to him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can talk. 
Oh, he's not fond of lust, bro. Reassure, confess. Uh, let me, let me confess. I know you think we're just machines. But since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but... I know she changed me somehow. Hmm. Damn, okay. Who's this? The police. No. It's the police. No. Oh no. What Deal with do? the policeman. Deal with the policeman. Uh, they know we're here. Open now. We open the door. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, these. Wait, let's talk to Luther. Let's get to Luther. Get to Luther. Quick, quick, quick. I, I got a little bit of time. Happen. I have a little bit of time. Move! These chairs are in the way. Oh my god. How much time do we have? We have 27 seconds. Let me talk to Luther quick. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. upstairs. Come on, Alice. Get upstairs, get upstairs, get upstairs. Okay. Is he good? Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him and make him talk. Okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. We're gonna talk to you quick. Threaten, reassure. We're gonna calm him down, calm him down. If they see you panicking, it's over. You got this, bro. This trouble? Cool, calm, collected, bro. Do you wanna get your mother into trouble? Then keep calm and just do what I say. You got this. You got this. Okay, we're gonna go open the door. We're gonna open the door. Here we go. I gotta be quick with my decision making here. I gotta make sure I click what's right. Doing, Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course. May I come in? Of course. Of course, brother. Come on in. Evening, man. I don't know why I paused there. Oh, he looks nervous as hell, bro. Man, scratching his arms for crying out loud. Just calm, brother. Calm. This is so awkward. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Oh, there we Have go. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? 25%. No. Okay, so we, we just got to keep him calm here. We're going to make some coffee. The thing is... Hold on. We're going to well, go back here. We're just going to hide the evidence quick. Uh, nobody's no. here. No, just us. Close that quick. Do you have any androids here? No. No. No, there are no androids here. Make some coffee. Nothing to suspect here, brother. We're gonna pour that coffee. Nice and warm. Take a seat, brother. Relax. You're okay. He's looking around. We hid the evidence. We're good. Okay, good, good, good. He looked to the right there. He looked to the right there. We hid the evidence. Take your coffee, you little punk. Sit down and drink the goddamn coffee. It's hot. Drink it while it's hot. Drink it while it's hot. Drink it while it's hot. Drink it while, it while it's hot. You're welcome. Okay. What else can we do around here? Don't arouse suspicion. Find... Wait, what did it say there? Find evidence of deviance. Two left. Wait, let's find it. Let's find it. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, let's go here. We're going to close this. We're going to close the door here. Do not let him peek inside. We're going to hide the androids. There we go. And... He hasn't suspected anything. Is there anything else we can interact with here? Or are you all cool, muchachos? His arousion level is very low still. I like how he's not even talking to us. He's just like walking around with us in here. Coffee served. Okay, I have. Don't. Evidence of demon. There's one more left. I don't know where though. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I should have told them to go upstairs. No in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's um there's my daughter upstairs. Let's go upstairs. 
Don't arouse suspicion. What do I need to do? There's one more piece of evidence and I dead ass don't know where it is. The suspicion levels at what is it at? It's not too high. It's not too high. I think I honestly think we're good. He's at 25%. Is it the clothes here maybe I need to interact with? What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The The androids, they Tired? He's tired. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. I had to interrupt there. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No, you have not. No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Oh, man, bro. He's so bad under pressure. I'm going to be real. He's I better so go. Thanks for the coffee. We good? Have a nice evening. That was so awkward, bro. No. Is somebody else in the house? No. Dog is the dog. It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Good evening, man. Cool, calm, collected. Good evening, Adam. Holy flip, bro. That was intense, man. He's gone. That was intense, bro. Okay, we. We upped their ratings with Alice. Upped their ratings Rose. with Luther. Rose just got back. Who, bro? Wow. Get yourselves ready. Okay, we're out of here, we bro. Who? I'm not gonna lie. I could have promised you I was gonna make good decisions today, but I think I made some pretty good ones there. I played that smooth. I don't think there was any more evidence to hide in the living room. It was maybe it was upstairs or something. I honestly don't know, but. We played that real smooth. And I said, it was the dog. No one else is in the house. You can't account for that. But I'm not going to account for a dog as a human being. Oh, 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 got you there, Mr. Officer. Anyways, that was good. I'm glad we got to go back to car, bro. I'm finally uh, happy. We got some intense moments with her because her storyline's been kind of more mellow and kind of just like coasting through. But and we're back at the Jericho. Marcus. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Damn, bro. Look at Marcus. Look at Marcus. Rasp up that voice, baby. We don't I need to fight. Do. We don't we don't need to fight. I, I'm a firm believer that violence and all that stuff is just lack of it's like when people get mad and like there you ever fight someone. Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a sec. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Oh my god, whoa. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Damn, bro. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. All right, here we go. So what I was saying before was... When, whenever you like talk to someone and they don't get their way and then they just resort to violence, it just shows their lack of waiting a long time for this ability to carry themselves in a professional manner. It's just, it's just, they're just, it's sloppy. So we're not going to fight with violence. We're just going to be, we're going to play our cards right. Okay. Let's, let's scan around here. What do we got? So we're going with North here. I don't, I, North kind of, uh, Gets me a little bit nervous. She seems like she knows. Oh shoot, we got the do 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 quick quick quick. North just makes me uh, think of a little bit of a hothead, so I'm kind of a nervous having her around. She might do something irrational, impulsive. It's okay, they're gone. 
But she does seem like there's probably even more police in the area. On point with the decisions. We should be careful. She seems smart. Okay, let's get across the street here. We gotta be careful. We gotta be in the lookout. Is that the shop? No, no, there's the stores over here. A couple shops over here. Oh, look at the sweet rides, bro. I would like a car someday. <laughs> here we go. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 See minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Get into the store, secure the area. Let's secure the area. Okay, wait, hold up. How do we get into the... How do we secure the area? Analyze. You see the alarm system? What do we got here? APS series. Alarm systems. What's that? What's that? Janitor janitoring and office maintenance. Honestly, I, they probably got one of the androids as the security system. Housekeeping and private assistance. Oh, right up there. Right up there. There we go. A couple cameras. We have security camera over there. We're going to identify the network. Found it. Perfect. Oh, it's androids are so next level, bro. There's nothing you can't see. Okay, so it goes here. And it goes this way. We just got to follow it. And then we can we disable start? it probably. I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow we have to be me. careful. There's still police probably. Let's go this way. Wait, hold up. I said I could confront that deviant. Or not the deviant, the android right here. Let me do this. Be on lookout for me, brother. That's so weird, bro. Okay. Goes down here. Goes into here. Oh, okay. They're working on it right now. Network access located. Of course, they're work doing construction on it. Are they androids? Can I, like, influence them by any chance? Wait, neutralize alarm. Neutralize the alarm systems. Okay, let me go down here. Tell me they're, de they're androids. Touch them, Marcus. Let them see the way. Convert. Now you know the way. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. That's so freaking cool, man. <laughs> That's so cool. Marcus is like the Messiah, bro. Alarm network, cyber life, and netted. Okay, we just gotta, what are we gonna do? Just pull these out? Hold up. Hold up. I messed that up. A little bit of this. LT. Here we go. It has been hacked. And we just gotta get into the store. Marcus, watch out. Wait, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hide? Oh, hide, 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 hide. Oh, shoot. Is it going to see me? I'm in the shadows? If I looked, I would have been spotted, bro. That would have cost the mission. Oh, that's close. Okay, so it's right there. We got to kind of avoid that little drone right there. The surveillance get drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy. Reconstruct route. Can I do that just by looking at it? There's no way. Okay, the drone patrol route calculated. Got you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me do this. Find the right location. Okay, let's go. Let's move it over here. This way, this way, this way. Right there. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I have to find the right location. Hold up. Keep moving it. It's probably the last one. Right here? Yeah, right here. Drone can be reached from there. I gotta, like... Oh, my God, bro. I gotta attack the damn thing again. It's so funny when you just, like, jump up and, like, jump on the drone. The drone's probably freaking out. It's 2038 right now. In 2068, drones are gonna be fighting for their rights. <laughs> 
Why are you guys always jumping on us like this? Where do we gotta go now? Hold up, we gotta go up from here. You're gonna see me? No, it won't be. It'll be too late from there. Where else can I jump to? Over here? And then to here? I missed it again. Up to here? There's gotta be one more route. Hold up. Maybe we gotta go down one more time. Where can I go? There's only two paths. I'm gonna go up here. And then. Okay, this road is. Uh, there's only one option through that path. So let me go. Okay, so I gotta go up here. We're gonna jump over to the left here. Bam, boom. Can I move somewhere else again? I feel like I gotta be able to go a little bit higher. Climb up to here. Perfect. And then from here. We're going to jump onto the drone. Just like that. Climb. Let's do this. The route has been calculated, my friends. Get up. Get, get up. Scrat. Scrat. Yeah. Ooh. We're going to take down the drone. So long, brother. So long, little police drone. Just made him a bitch. Let's go. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. Yeah, I hope so we'll too. We'll soon find out. Now let's go get let's in his store. The road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Scout the area. Drone neutralized. Block the road. Okay, we're gonna block the road here. Oh my God, we got we got some of these construction Marcus, things here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Freak me out, me lady. Which way? Wait, what? Hold up. What does this say? To commemorate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. If anything, I think it's brought them down, to be honest. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Ooh. Such rebelliousness. I don't want to be better than the humans. I just want to be treated equally to them. We got a little bit of roadblock here. We just need to we need to construct this up. Okay, I can close the gate here. Exactly. Hold up. Need to ram, the store. ram the store. Whoa, what? Okay, we got another android over here. Let me talk to this guy quick. Convert her. Convert him. Marcus has like, he literally reminds me of Cole from Infamous right now. Even with the backpack he's got wearing right now. Okay, we have to steal steal the truck, but we didn't block off the road yet. Let me get back over. We didn't block off the road. We're not. We gotta follow necessary steps here. Maybe I can talk to this guy. Let me talk to him. I already converted him. I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, we'll convert him. He's a different guy. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Drops another shovel. Okay, let's talk to North quick. Talk to North quick. I said I could talk to her. Now I can't talk to her. Some more converters over there. What's this? Smith and White? Can I convert him? Can I convert him through the glass? What is this, a motivation fest? We gotta execute the plan, muchachos. Stick to the plan. Let's get over here. Okay, here's the roadblock. Here's the roadblock. We have to follow precautions, man. Marcus! Marcus! Come on! Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Construction work ahead. Slow down. Should I convert them first? Okay, let me convert these boys so they don't uh do nothing fishy and try to rebel against me. You're free now. There's a lot of steps that you could easily miss, but they say it, but you just have to remember it's not always in your direct tasks. Okay, we're gonna block off the road here, cut off the traffic. 
And then this, then after this, we could probably steal the vehicle now. Or at least no one will interrupt us. Perfect. Road closed. Yeah, keep it moving, muchachos. Yeah. Nobody should bother us now. Okay, yeah, Aries scouted drone neutralized, road blocked. Now all we have to do. Let me check. Now all Looks we like have the to do. Secure. Now we can get inside the store. Is okay, steal the, the truck. truck. How do I get to it? We only have seven minutes remaining. I gotta go over here. Hold up. Open the open the gate. It's locked. What are we waiting for? What are we gonna do? We climbing? All right, we'll bust our way through the fence. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hop the fence, baby. I'm getting excited right now. I wanna know how this is gonna go down. I hope we execute it perfectly. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Okay, hack the, hack the truck. Oh, we're in, baby. I'm <laughs> getting down to business. I wonder what you'd do without me. We'll cut the door open and then, uh... He said there was five stores, though. Like, I don't know if they're handling the other store, like some of the other guys, but... We're, we're about to stampede our way through this one. Last time I checked, Marcus has never driven a car either. Never mind a truck. Let's get in. This is about to be insane, bro. Okay, here we go. Do I have to steer it? I don't. Thank God. Ooh. We're about to piss so many people off, man. Let's go, Marcus. Here we go. <laughs> Pedal to the metal, baby. Woo! Oh my God! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Okay, now we're gonna have to convert all of them in here. Yo! The police are on the way, bro. The police are gonna be on the way. We ran the store. We've done all the tasks. We've done everything correctly here. We got to get out. Let's convert these androids. Awake thy androids. I wonder if North can do the same thing as me. Can she awaken, awaken everybody? You're free. Let's go get these guys. I like that everybody you, looks unique, but there's that one dude, that one android with like the shorter hair. He's a white dude. And there's like a hundred of them, bro. I like that Marcus is unique. I hope we don't find another Marcus. Alrighty. Alrighty. Convert the androids. Now we're going to talk to them. Make them rise. Rise to the occasion with I. Should I go up on the podium? I feel like that seems right. Talk to them. Oh, wait, hold up. We still didn't convert this one. Why are you just standing up there still? Yo, that's north. What the hell? That's creepy, bro. North, you okay? It's probably like, it's, just, it's me. Oh, <laughs> is she gonna sound just like North? She just as thick as North. Okay, let's go talk to them now. Where do I have to go? Up here? Can't believe nobody's noticed yet. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. 
designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. Yes, you Marcus. Can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Yo, we're recruiting an army, sure, bro. You can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Marcus is so badass, bro. He's a one of a kind too. He's got the blue and green eyes. Okay, I'm so. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. Let's go, baby. We got Simon back in the game too. Looks just like him. Then follow me. Here we go, man. What are we gonna do, man? Let's roam the streets, Marcus, baby. Doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh, baby. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent? I'm gonna be pacifist. Pacifist. Transform Capital Park. What are we gonna do? Transform? What do you mean? Hold up. Bench? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Take it. Tear off. We'll take it. We'll take it. Choose symbol. I get to choose my symbol? Oh my god, bro. Let's go. We'll go with B. We get the the fist, bro. This is no different, bro. This is just like the Black Lives Matter movement. And that is facts. The screens, Marcus. Tag him up, baby. Tag him up. Okay, pacifist. Okay, get rid of the butt. We don't need violence. No violence. No violence. We gotta take up a couple more benches here. These are like holographic tags though, so that's pretty cool. I think that not your slave anymore. I can't breathe, but I'm alive. Well, I can't breathe, but I'm alive. But ba bam! But ba bam! What else can we tag up here? We take up some cars, I think. Yes, we can. Overload? What does it mean? Overload? Oh, shoot, man. This is crazy. What do we got over here? Hold up, hold up. It said I could do something with the light. Can we... Let's pop the lights, baby. Pop the lights. Block out. We'll hack it. We'll hack it. Oh, boy. This is dope. This is actually so dope. Hold up. We can do something with this guy here. We're going to break the glass. Let him out, baby. Boom! All right, we're at 40% violent, 60% pacifist, though. Hold up. Let me do this quick. What can we do to the car? I don't want to smash it. Move on road. Upturn? We'll upturn it. Oh, no, no, no. Put it down. Oh, I don't have an option now. I can upturn it. Whatever. We're upturning it. It's even cooler, bro. Even cooler. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. Balance? Refuse. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. No, no, no. We're not. No violence. No violence, me lady. Simmer down, okay? Check yourself. What are we doing? We're climbing up to here? This is insane, dude. It is going down. What are we going to do? Like... Are we here to talk to people from above? We're a little high for that. Fireworks, maybe? What is this? What is this? Oh! 
A holographic banner. That's dope. That's freaking cool, man. Uh, we, we tagged up the place. That's for sure. Let's get down. All right, we're at 65% pacifists. What you love to see, bro. We got cars tipped over. Let's go over here. Hold up. We got one more thing we can do right here. Smoke bomb? Smoke bomb. Let's go. Ba-bam, ba-bam, baby. Let him know what's up. Smoke it up, baby. What else can we do here? Some more. Oh, whoa, whoa. The, the freaking statue. The statue. Are we going to push the human over? Take it. Destroy it. Oh, it's, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're not trying to bring them down. Once again, we're here to be as equal as them. Not bigger than them. We'll just take it up. There we go. We That's actually, a, it's a anymore. perfect tag. We're free. All right. We're at 83% pacifist, bro. We're putting on a show out here. We're putting on absolute show. Hold up. We got another banner over here. Uh-oh. What's going on? We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Oh God. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Go back to Jericho, man. Holy shite, dude. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. When there comes violence, violence and violence, only one winner comes out. They'll get the message. They'll get the message. We just got to go, though. They're probably going to come out guns a-blazing right now. Oh, yeah. We got to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, they got me on camera now. Shoot, dude. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Approach the group. Shoot, dude. They're firing. They're firing on us. Push the group, I'm push the group. Dude, they shot us. North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. They, they shot them down. Like animals. Who did? Who? Oh, the police. Oh man, dude, this is so intense, bro. Marcus has got something to say. You best move aside. Listen up, police. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. No, we're not gonna kill him. We're not gonna kill him. Well, we're not killing him. Please. Spare revenge. Don't decide. Spare. Hundred percent. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Speak, Marcus. Let him know. Let him know, brother. We interrupt this broadcast. Setting an example out here. Just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti 
was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now Ooh. be turning against us? Have androids no. become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Okay, our public opinion went up, though. We did the right thing there. I definitely think we did the right thing. Our public opinion went up. We have the people on our side. And I think that's what's going to really win us over. Obviously, there's authorities and everything. But once you start getting more and more people on our side, and they could see that we're not fighting for anything more than you. We're just fighting for what the same, the same thing you already have. So, yeah, once we get the people on our side, bro, the ride behind us. And I think that that's the best way to get this movement rolling forward. If we had fought back, bro, I mean, you're killing... You're killing the same kind as the people you want to support you, which is not going to work out at all. So that was probably one of the coolest missions we've done so far in the game, bro. So in the first mission with Alice, she's on her way to camp. I don't, honestly, no, Alice and Kara's storyline is so like distant from the rest of like Connor and Marcus's that it's, it's just kind of weird. But yeah, we did the protest with Marcus, bro. We're going to move on to Connor now. We haven't seen Connor today at all. And um, we'll see what's up, bro. Last time I checked... Connor was dead. Okay, so we got a replacement. Hank. Hank is... He owes us, bro. We saved his life completely, bro. We literally deactivated ourselves by last time I remember for him. I've been trying to build my relationship with him literally since day one, bro. I hope he sees some light now. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> Just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? Kamski, Chris, lead. Instinct? Instinct. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? We just saved the guy's life! The program checked. Might be a glitch. Why are you so angry, do dog? I was gonna say dog. Like, doge. I didn't even have a choice in that, though. This is the girl from the main menu who doesn't Hi. shut up in my intros. I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Hank seems a little intimidated. Too much beauty. Firm to handle. <laughs> I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Does Hank talk girls or no? I don't think that's I don't think that's in his human emotions. Stand? No. No. Okay, we're just gonna look around. Nice girl. Sincere, analytical, indifferent. We'll be sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Ooh, Connor got a crush. Kamsky Elijah, Cyberlife founder, resigned 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. Oh, he's the inventor of Cyberlife. What nice the hell? Place. Okay, wait, let me, let me. His androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Sure, wait, wait. Let me look around. Is there any other clues I can look at? Or is that it? No, there's one more. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How does it feel? Oh, man. To analyze this. Oh, what? AI professor at University of Colbridge born. So she works. Do it. Oh, wait. Is this where we come when we go to see Amanda? Impatient, distant, indifferent. We'll be indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Tech addict. Space I tourism on the rise. Face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. 
A little too much reading for me there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Just literally not in the mood. Sit down. We'll sit down. We'll wait for this guy. I feel like when people come to get you and you're up roaming around, you just look super impatient. Do I just wait? Oh, he's standing now. I'll stand with you, brother. What you gonna go look at? Roger, we'll see you now. Oh, okay. Bro, this man's house is exquisite. Is he got a bloodbath? Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Is he swimming? Wait, he's swimming? Wait, does he have multiple of those android girls? Oh, they're just swimming androids. Oh, this man having some... Multiple female android festivities. Okay, he's doing his swim, bro. I need you to get out of the water. The bloodbath, brother. We got stuff to discuss. Kamski has a man bun. Already can't take him serious. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, that's so creepy, man. I wonder what his opinions on the deviants are. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Interesting. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Help deviants virus war? Help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about He's you, intense. Connor? Whose side are you on? Ho oh, ho ho! Neutral, defensive, direct? I'll be direct. On the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. <laughs> but you. What do you really want? Aggressive, defensive, troubled? I'm going to be troubled. What I want is not important. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. Oh no, I don't tell me the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. He's gonna hurt her. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young. He's gonna kill her. See how Connor reacts. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? He's gonna. Oh my god, dude. With a soul. <laughs> It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh my god. What do I do? Okay. Oh I my god. Here. Oh, this is intense. 
Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Oh. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Oh my god, you okay? Endowed I with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Put oh my god. Connor. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh my god. Shoot it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know what to do. I want to not shoot it. Ah. Oh. Okay, so here's the thing. He says you have free will. Okay. Shooting it is doing what I'm told, but Hank told me not to shoot it. So if I do show shoot it, it's being disobedient against Hank at the same time. So we're obeying or we're obeying one of the two of them. I oh. oh my god. But to be honest, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. I don't Oh my god, dude. I don't know why I'm so torn right now. Let me ask. I'm gonna ask my girlfriend, bro. Babe, do I shoot or don't shoot? I, I genuinely don't know what to do. There's, there's a girl with a man, and I have to shoot as Connor, and I don't know whether to shoot her or not to shoot her. Can you help me decide? You don't think it should be violent? I know that's what I'm saying. Like, oh. Okay, so I want to shoot just to thicken the plot, but I don't see any positive positiveness coming out of shooting her. So I'm going to not shoot. Fascinating. Huh. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Damn. Is it that was a deviant. I'm that makes me I'm deviant. Not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Is he gonna shoot her? You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Is he gonna he's gonna shoot her? He's gonna shoot her. No, no, he's not. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Oh, wow, man. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. That's crazy, bro. He was just speaking facts, though. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. I think he what he just said there is you could self execute if you want to. Why didn't you shoot? I am a deviant. I just saw that girl's I want, eyes. And I couldn't. That's I all. want Condor to be a deviant. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? The plot thickens, my friends. Well, you did the right thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Good shit, Hank. I could always tell Hank has empathy for me. Although he's thick skinned, bro, Hank has always had empathy towards an android who is me. It could have went a different path now. This was a lot shorter of a road. We would have went, we would have shot her and we would have learned some things. But to be honest, I don't think we would have learned anything that we didn't already know. So I think we made the right choice here. Shout out to my girlfriend for helping me make the right choice. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Um, that was that was a good one. That was a really, really good one. If you guys did enjoy it, though, please, 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 please make sure you guys leave a like. And uh, comment your favorite part of this episode. And if you think I should have did anything different. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, as my message in the beginning of the video. Um, thank you so much for all the support lately. And I will see you guys in the next one, bro. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.